Good morning, Juan Camino. It's day number 27. Yeah. Day number 27. We're leaving the town of Sahari. Sahari. You can see the sign back there, right here. We're standing in, like, at the peak of the little town. We're getting ready to leave. There's the cross up there. Nasty weather today. We got wind and rain. Um, I guess we're south of Ireland, so they say that we pick up a lot of the same weather as them from, I guess, the North Sea or the wherever. Um, anyway, we're going to see what happens today. At first, we we're thinking, man, maybe we should taxi ahead in this bad weather, but we're just going to get it out and take our time. Well, see the good what happens. thing about it is it, it isn't too cold. It's about 55, yeah. so that's a little helpful. It's just cold enough to give you hypothermia, so <laughs> that's good. Anyway, peace out. Giving you a hint of what's to come. And this is a hint of what's to come in rainy weather. Lovely. Getting ready to walk over the bridge as she's walking over a little bridge. Say hi, sweetie. <laughs> uh, it's freaking raining outside like it's freaking crazy. I might as well get video of me walking over the little bridge, too. <clears throat> I, I don't look as joyous and happy as she does whenever I walk over this little bridge. Here, look, there you go. It's a body shot of me. Climbing up on slippery, wet-ass rocks. Oh, that's awesome. Wayne <laughs> Camino, everybody. We hope this inspires other people to do the Camino. Look up where. Oh, it's pretty behind. Where we're getting ready to go. It's right there. Pretty. And smack in the middle of this trail is a guy set up, which a lot of them have every now and then. It's a little donation area. and. I'm if you buy a banana, you can get like 20 cents euros or 50 cents euros, and it's pretty nice. They just set up in little corners here. Okay, we went 3.6 kilometers, and we're stopping here to get some breakfast, some bacon eggs, and to dry off a little bit, and to get our game plan for what we're going to do. And we're listening to the Eric Clapton Unplugged, so it reminds me of you, Dad, and I miss you, I love you. And um, that's it so far. So we're sitting here at the see still very gloomy. It was pretty windy and rainy when we walked out, so now we're drying off and David has a poke. Aki! And I have some wine because it was only a dollar year and I couldn't pass it up. So here's our breakfast. Mm. Yum. This looks delicious. Now we're going to eat. So we left having breakfast and it's still pretty rainy, but I have no choice. It's real windy. Hey David, he's pretty upset right now that we're walking in the rain. He doesn't have the proper rain gear, so. Um, but it's kind of unexpected sometimes. That guy up there is wearing jeans, so everybody's pretty miserable right now. Okay, we're definitely earning our walk today. And like Jen said, I was pissy back there because I'm cold as hell, but I guess it's not perfect on the freaking Camino de Santiago. So, um, we're definitely earning this walk because we're going a snail's pace and we have like 10 or 11 miles of this to go. So, anyway. Now we'll get David going over the bridge. But I don't know if he's going to be cheery about it. Oh yeah, he is! Yay! Thank God for this because we'd be soaked. Gotta walk through that. More soaked than we already are, but. <sighs> trying to keep my promise by trying to embrace the last five days and not be negative, but it's pretty hard when it's pouring down rain and windy. And our pants are soaked because they're not waterproofed. Okay. Unrelentless rain. Unrelentless rain right now. We are absolutely soaked to the bones and frozen. These people have some will of stone. I just want to quit like a baby. I just saw two tour buses sitting there and I was about to go ask the drivers if I can get on them. But there must be a wait or a break somewhere in this. My god. Alrighty, looks like we came out of some of the hardest rain. We've only gone halfway throughout this entire day. We started a little later, but this rain slows you down. 
Um, we actually are drenched all the way down. Our whole boots are all the way soaked all the way through. Our rain gears did not keep a lot of the water out. The rain just exposes your rain gear. So it makes you colder. Um, it exposes everything. So can't wait to get to the next little town. Here we are. Definitely, definitely in the rain. Watch out, babe. Here we are, come on, baby. Well, still walking, and it is like a like tropical storm. They said they've never seen rain like this in Spain. Uh, well, I hope Jen embraces her walk in the rain today. I should have never complained. I should have never said, I mean, hell, why would I have wanted to bus or taxi forward to the next town? I mean, I think I paid my dues in the Army and the Navy. It looks like Jen's paying her dues now, right, sweetie? Yeah. How's your feet? Wet. Now I have a shin splint in my right now leg. Now she has a shin splint in her right leg. Alrighty, guys. Checking in later. Peace. Thank God I bought this life proof case. Alrighty. Today is day number, what is today's date? Uh, 28, 28, 28, 29. 29. They're all starting to bleed together. Okay, after a long day of walking yesterday in the rain, we had to assess our damage once we got to where we were going. After Jen injured her right leg now with a, a um, shin splint, she lost her shoes. My shoes are completely worthless. We had to assess the damage last night, and we decided that the best thing for us to do was to be, um, eat, bus ourselves ahead um, several miles, and get to the town of Malida, I think that's how you say it, and they're known for their popo, or popo, um, which is what the octopus, which is right there on the table. So we decided to eat, and um, we're only a couple cities away from Santiago, so we have a couple of days of walking, maybe three days, because um, we skipped about a day and a half to two days uh, going forward. So. Um, to me, it's perfectly worth it to go ahead. And it's and, still rainy. It's still real rainy, and you can see outside. There's people outside with their umbrellas, and it, you slow down to a snail's pace when that happens. So now we're going to actually enjoy ourselves for the next couple of days, hopefully, and uh, to bring it home to Santiago. So there you go. There it is. That looks great. <laughs> Gracias. Muy bien.